Hey, what's up guys? How are you doing today? Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you are new here, my name is Tobias and welcome to another Microphone Monday where I upload new microphone reviews and comparisons every Monday. And today what I have for you guys is a review of the Razer Siren Mini. This is a USB condenser microphone with a super cardioid recording pattern by the brand Razer and this is actually the first microphone by Razer that I have ever tested out. And the audio that you are actually hearing right now is coming from the Razer Siren Mini. I have it right here in front of me on my desk. I'm roughly about 12 inches away from the microphone. And although I do get many microphones for free to do reviews on, this one I actually did not get for free. I paid for this one myself just because I wanted to try it out so bad. And just to let you guys know, I'm also listening to the audio in my headphones as I record this, so I know exactly how it sounds as well. And as usual, I'll show you guys an unboxing of the microphone, I'll do a demonstration, and then in the end, I'll tell you guys what I think about it. And just really quick before we jump into it, if you do like this video or if this video helps you out, I would really appreciate it if you went down there and gave this video a like. That would help me out so much. And if you would like to see more videos by me in the future, make sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell notifications button and let's go ahead and get right into this by taking a look at the Amazon page as you can see here the Razer Siren mini goes for $39.99 it comes in three colors black white and pink and I'll go ahead and put the link to this Amazon page down in the description of this video in case you want to check that out for yourself and let's go ahead and jump into the unboxing Inside the box, there is a letter by the CEO explaining how this microphone was designed for streaming. Under that, there was an instruction manual and a few stickers. And then of course, there was the USB cable, the microphone, and then the desk stand for the microphone. And one cool thing about the desk stand is that you can tilt it in different directions and angle the microphone. On the front of the microphone, there is a green LED light that indicates when the microphone is on. And actually, as I was reading the box, there were two things that stuck out to me. The first thing is, is that it says that this microphone records with a super cardioid pickup pattern. If you're unfamiliar with the term cardioid, all that it really means is that audio is picked up from the front of the microphone. However, a microphone that records with a super cardioid polar pattern just means that it's like a cardioid polar pattern, except it is extremely directional. So the intended purpose of a super cardioid microphone would be to eliminate some of the background noise and only pick up audio from the thing that you want to pick up audio from. And the other interesting thing that I read on the box is that it says that there is an inbuilt shock mount inside the microphone to reduce vibration noise when you like tap on the desk or something or even tap on the microphone. And I gotta say that is a pretty interesting feature. I've never, I don't think I've ever tested out a microphone that is supposed to have an inbuilt shock mount. And this is what it sounds like when I tap on my desk around the microphone. And it's actually pretty good. It's not picking up too much of that. And this is what it sounds like when I'm tapping on the base of the microphone, the stem leading up to the microphone, and then the actual microphone itself. So I just want to show you guys this really quick because I thought this was kind of interesting, but I'm going to go ahead and pick up the microphone and I'm just going to turn it around as I'm speaking and watch what happens to the audio. So right now I'm looking at the side of the microphone and I'm going to turn it around and now I'm looking at the back of the microphone and I was actually pretty surprised at how much of my voice the back of the microphone is actually picking up and let's go ahead and turn it to the other side and now let's go ahead and turn it back to the front. So I noticed that when you're speaking to the side, you're getting a lot of like the mid frequencies. And then when you turn it to the back, you get a lot of the lower frequencies, turn it to the side again, getting a lot of those mid frequencies and then turning it to the front. And we're getting kind of like the full spectrum. And like I said earlier, I have this microphone on my desk directly in front of me. It is roughly 12 inches away from my mouth. And I'm actually pretty impressed by how well it's picking up my audio, even though it's so far away. And it's also a good few inches below where my mouth is. So let's go ahead and do a couple audio tests now. First, I want to start off by taking a listen to the noise floor, which is kind of like an underlying hiss noise. 
Okay, now this is what it sounds like when I am tapping on my keyboard right behind the microphone. This is what it sounds like when I'm tapping on my keyboard directly in front of the microphone. This is how it sounds when I'm standing roughly five feet away from the Siren Mini. The next thing I'm going to do is see if the microphone will fit on a mic stand. And as you can see here, it totally fits on a mic stand, which is pretty cool. And because this microphone is intended to be used with a desk stand, I'll go ahead and put it back on the desk stand for the duration of this video. Okay, so I just took the microphone off the mic stand, I put it back on the desk stand that it came with, and I just went back and listened to some of the audio that I recorded for this video. And I just gotta say, Considering the distance of the microphone from my mouth, I would say it has a very low noise floor. I'm actually really impressed by that. The other thing is that even although the microphone is far away from me, and it's even like maybe 6 inches below my mouth, it's picking up all the right frequencies from my voice. It's not mid or bass heavy like you might expect it to be. Another thing that I really liked about this microphone is its size. It's so small and compact, it's kind of like inconspicuous. Unlike other microphones like the Blue Yeti, they take up a big chunk of your desk and they're really in your way. This microphone is very inconspicuous, I mean I could even put it way behind my keyboard. I mean right now, I have it, let's say, 18 inches, maybe 20 inches away from my mouth, and it's picking up my voice still pretty good. And let me just go ahead and move that right back. As for when I recorded my guitar a minute ago, I thought that it picked up my guitar really well too. And of course, one of the things that I love the most about the Razer Siren Mini is the price. It's only $40 and I think it is well worth the price. I'm always on the lookout for the best bang for your buck and I think this is a great value. And I really need to compare this microphone to my Moono PM461TR, so watch out for that in a future video. And actually next week guys, I have another new microphone review for you guys. Next Monday I will be reviewing the JLab TalkGo USB microphone. This is another microphone that people have been recommending to me. So I'm pretty eager to try that out. So make sure you stay tuned next week for that. And I think that pretty much covers everything. Let me know what you guys think about this microphone down in the comments below. I would love to hear what you guys think. Once again, I will have the Amazon page for the Razer Siren Mini down in the description of this video in case you want to check that out for yourself. And if you did like this video or if this video helped you out, I would really appreciate it if you went down there and gave this video a like. That would help me out so much. And if you would like to see more microphone reviews by me in the future, make sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell notifications button. I upload new microphone reviews every Monday. I call it Microphone Mondays. If you would like to follow me on Instagram, I'll go ahead and put my handle right here. It's at YT underscore Tobias. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Peace.